Hey, do you struggle getting dressed in the morning? Can't find anything to wear, even though you have a closet full of clothes. Well, Beth Parker, a lifestyle blogger and stylist, is here with some tips to get things in order. We want to welcome her. It's good to see you. Thanks Hi, for coming. Thanks for having me. This is hard for people, but you help them through it. Tell us what is closet edit. So I call a closet edit or a closet cleanse. Um, it's where I'll come in and kind of assess a client's situation, their closet, what their lifestyle is. Are they a stay-at-home mom? Are they, do they work every day? And we'll go through item by item, which seem, seems daunting, but it's really not. And we will organize, purge, edit, and I'll create outfits for clients. So that way, in the morning when they're getting ready, it's a lot more seamless for them. Beth, who can benefit from this? Do you have people who say, you know, <laughs> I, I really don't want to give up those oh, yeah, shirts sure. that are 15 years old? You oh, know? absolutely. <laughs> I mean, anyone really, I mean, if you have clothes, you can benefit yeah. from it. Um, I would say typically um, clients that contact me, they're those that go in their closet in the morning and they're like, I have nothing to wear, yet they have a sea of clothes. Um, or those women or men that um, have a very hard time parting ways with particular items. Those are my personal favorites when I find like, you know, a dress from 1990. <laughs> it's, it's time Ooh, that we purge it in my this. closet. Yes. <laughs> we need to get rid of this. Well, what do people tell you after they've gone through this process? What do they tell you after the fact when they can see the difference, can feel what it's like? Right, yeah. I mean, it sounds silly, but it really is kind of life-changing for your mornings. I mean, you think about it, getting up in the morning, we're all rushed, and that is probably the most difficult thing in your mornings is what to wear. And so if you make that process seamless and more organized into where people can actually see what they have, it really does start their days off so much better and so much more seamlessly. Beth, what do you say to somebody who might, you know, feel embarrassed or nervous about yeah. letting somebody come into th that personal area? Like oh, that? yeah. that's. I would say that's the number one reservation with someone hiring me is they're like, I don't want you to see my closet, you know? And so what I would say to them is, first of all, I've seen everything. I've seen all types, all sizes, all, you know, levels of disarray. Um, and for me personally, I mean, the message year it is, the more fun it is. It's a bigger challenge, and I think in the end, the end result is more rewarding. So it's, and honestly, if you saw my closet, you would not be scared to have me anyways. Well, if people are, are going to try this on their own, what do you tell them about that old favorite Okay. Favorite dress. Do you say just yeah? No. Let so it go. here's my rule of thumb: unless it is something of significant value, like a very expensive leather jacket or something you know that you've spent quite a bit of money on, if you have not worn it in a year, it's time to get rid of it. Oh. There you go. Yeah. All right. Your, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much.